Hey, Sean, sorry about the clickbait title, but whenever Apple releases a new product, a new iPhone, they always say, this is the best camera system we've ever put in an iPhone. This is the fastest processor we've ever put in our computers. This is the, the biggest, the best that we've ever done, meaning that the previous generation wasn't as good, even though it was the best at the time. So by process of elimination, that means that currently the M1 processor is the worst modern Apple processor made for their computers. And the M2 or whatever they're going to call it, these next iterations are going to be incredible. But it's going to mean that this M1, their first foray into modern processors, is going to be the worst one that they've made. Everything's going to be better after this. And so they announced the new iMacs yesterday. And I was thinking about, should I get one? I upgraded from a 2015 Retina iMac that was souped up just completely. And in, in January, December or January, I sold it and got an M1 MacBook Pro. And I'm a video editor. I do video production for a living. It's how I make my money. And for a long time, my 2015 iMac was great. It could handle 4K footage. It could handle the things I was throwing at it. But once I started recording in 10-bit, it started to slow down. And especially if I had multiple streams, it would stutter. And I'd have to convert everything to proxy footage to be able to edit it. With the M1, I haven't had to do any proxy footage, and I just did a project for the St. Louis Symphony which had nine cameras all shooting HD, but I was doing a multi-cam edit, playing back with no stuttering whatsoever, nine streams of HD footage, and this little laptop, I didn't even have to plug it in, just the battery power ran it for hours, and I was able to do everything, so I was super impressed. So when they announced the iMac, even though the iMac is the same processor as is in this, this notebook and the performance is likely the same, for me, it's going to be worth it because I don't like the small screen. I love everything about how this computer functions. I don't like that it's a laptop because I end up working everywhere. I like a desktop that keeps me grounded and I have to go edit somewhere. Um, but the 24 inch screen is very appealing to me. I don't need anything larger than that. Um, my old computer was a 27 inch and it was, it was too big. I can be honest about that. For what I do, 24 inches will be great. But these processors are so good that they can handle five streams of 4K footage without dropping a frame. They can handle 8K footage. I've played back 8K footage from the Canon R5 on this computer and it doesn't stutter, it doesn't drop frames, and that's crazy. And this only has eight gigabytes of RAM. I didn't get the most souped up version. But if I get the iMac, I will likely add the 16 gigabytes of RAM just to future-proof myself a little bit more um, than if I kept that low. But this is one of those things where this computer is so good. And looking at what I do for a living and what I film, the kind of footage I deal with most frequently, even my old iMac could handle red footage. I'd have to convert it to a proxy, but it could play it um, and it could see any frame pretty quickly. It wasn't ideal, but it worked. The M1 can see red raw footage and play it like nothing's happening, like it's no different. It's crazy. This can handle H.265 footage, which shooting with the Sony a7S III as my main camera, I'm starting to do a lot more because it's a better file and it's a smaller file, but my old processor couldn't handle it. So I'm excited because this new processor is just sort of not only good enough, but it's great. And I can't see a world right now where as a video editor, I will need more performance than this gives me right now. And I know that they're going to innovate and there's going to be a pro version and they're going to have the M2 and all these other things. But even though it'll be faster and crazier, my 2015 iMac lasted for so long that now that this processor can handle everything that I'm throwing at it in a modern production setting, I, I don't have anything of like, well, I wish the processor did this because it does everything. It does everything I need and more and it does it fast and the render times are great and I'm sure the future processors will speed up the render time a little bit but for me when I render in my workflow which may be different for you but when I'm done with a project I click render and I leave I leave the room I go do something and if it takes 30 minutes if it takes 40 minutes if it takes two hours I don't care it can do what it needs to do and so I'm not so worried about that but that usability of being able to edit on the fly to not have to convert everything before I can really work with it, before I can make my edits, before I can color it, so I can see it all without having to jump through hoops. This, this computer and this processor is beyond good enough and it's going to last a long time. So while future generations may be coming 
and I, I look back at like the original iPhone and I think of like the early adopters and like it, it was a great phone, but they started leapfrogging it right away. And now the new phone, I think they said the new iPad is 1500 times faster than the original iPad. And so it's easy to see that gap. But if the original iPad did everything that you needed it to do, there is no need to upgrade. And that's what I'm looking at this M1 processor until I start dealing with 12-bit or 16-bit footage on a regular basis, or I'm dealing with massive RAW files on a regular basis, there's nothing that this computer won't do. There's nothing this computer will hold me back from in my job. So I'm a fan of the M1. Yes, it's going to be the worst modern processor that Apple makes, and they're going to best it pretty quickly uh, and hopefully pretty frequently. But for me, the worst modern processor that Apple is going to make is going to be just fine. That's all I got. Thanks for clicking on the clickbait title. Sorry about that. I haven't made a video in a while. Wanted to make something. Here I am. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.